Hello and welcome to Let's Play Just Cause 2. I am your host, Circle Master. And I am Lieutenant Dan's Legs. And today we're going to be starting a new game on normal. You're not going hardcore? Um, no. Because the higher difficulties are just unfairness. Like enemies having way too much health, doing way too much damage. I'm sure Rico could handle that, though. Uh, he really can't. Here we are. Panau Island. Southeast Asia's best kept secret. It's agency territory, right? U.S. friendly. Not anymore. And that's why we're here. Someone not dancing to Uncle Sam's tune? The old president was assassinated by the new president, Pandak Panay, his son. And he won't pick up the phone. He doesn't sound much like a people person. Right. He's attempting to eliminate all opposition. Sheldon was trying to figure out his agenda when he disappeared. So, what? He's gone dark before. Not like this. Worst case scenario, he's gone rogue. So what's in it for him? I don't know, Rico. But if he has turned, you gotta take him out. That's a bitter pill, King. Sheldon taught me everything I know. Which is why you're here. You know his M.O. <sighs> I can't argue with that. We gathered all available intel onto these memory cards. Marshall here will download them onto your PDA. Damn it! That's incendiary stuff on those cards. They fall into the wrong hands. It's gonna be one hell of a firestorm back in Washington. Ugh. Whoa! The natives are restless. Someone doesn't like us. Panau and military. I recognize the flak. We sold them those guns. Get back from there. Oh, the black guy dies first. Well, it's, running out of ammo anyway. Yeah, you know, they just want to be upfront about. Don't wait up. How corny this game is. <laughs> Are you ready for the most exciting opening scene of a video game ever? I am indeed. Marshall is dead, but he's still got your PDA. Well, this is it. It's just falling. But I mean, right off right off the bat, we're falling out of a helicopter and trying to catch a dead guy midair. All you got to do is fall and you'll get him. <laughs> Steer your body, Rico. See you later, fucker. <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> Before the first gameplay segment, he was dead. We had no chance to save him. It just begs the question why they had the helicopter door open in the first place. Ah, uh, yeah, that's... That's a pretty good point. This is yet another thrilling... I, segment of falling. I, I think that Rico maybe really pushed for the helicopter flying over so he could be jumping out with explosions all around. He wanted to look cool, you know? This doesn't look cool though, it's just falling. <laughs> well, I mean, he, I he, get, he tried, okay? He tried. I get that it's supposed to be a tutorial on the parachute button, but Really? We need a tutorial on the parachute button? <laughs> well, it's kind of fitting considering how uh, how much you use it in the game. You'll notice that we couldn't actually use our grappling hook until she told us. I'm getting flashbacks of Metroid Other M. Same here. And... It makes me cry. But that cheers me up. <laughs> that never gets old. Yep, you love pulling guards off of Ruse. Oh dear, they know we're here. I have no idea how. Undercover mission over, guys. 
I don't think these guys picked the best place to stand. <laughs> you know, I think secretly they just feel sorry for Rico and they just kind of like, oh, Rico here. We'll, we'll, we'll come stand under, the, under these explosive barrels, okay? Alright, do you feel better about yourself now? Well, he doesn't because he felt the need to pick up a pistol. <laughs> that was pretty cool, though. Well, I always try to grapple a guy in a firefight because it keeps them from shooting for a little while. Plus, I mean, you, you get to juggle a guy midair with your gun. I think that's all the reward you need there. Yeah, the pistol at this stage doesn't really do enough damage to juggle someone. Oh, did you actually hang that guy up? Yep. <laughs> but he gets loose before I can shoot him because the other guy was too close and the auto-targeting kept switching between them. <laughs> Don't just leave his body dangling there. There we go. And these guys made the mistake of being on higher ground. <laughs> A very common mistake as we will no doubt see. Oh, and indubitably. Incoming hostile chopper. Use the black cannon. And this is like the only time in the game you will need to use a flat cannon. Couldn't you use it to blow the, uh, up the other stuff around you? Well, I could, but that would be working toward game completion and I refuse to even attempt to clear anything before I get paid. <laughs> I demand to be compensated for the time I'll waste. Work will resume when I am paid! Yeah, when I first beat this game my completion percentage was only like 24% <laughs> and I had gone out of my way to do some extra stuff. But it wasn't like I sped through the plot. No, you, you were just so enraptured with um, this no doubt excellent plot, um, deep characters, tasteful accents, it has all of the above. Yep. And hanging a guy up is practically the only way to get a grenade to hit him. <laughs> and it didn't even kill him. Well, the grenades are uh, filled with confetti, so uh, I mean, it could give them some paper cuts, maybe, but it can't do much. Some very special grenades in this game universe. Yeah, useless ones. So, did they just not put password encryption on these memory cards at all, or something? Or apparently not. See, why don't they make this the parachute tutorial? Because that's an actually useful move. And it actually looks pretty cool. Unlike, uh... Unlike just falling. <laughs> what you're doing now. Kind of. You're falling slowly. Well, I'm making forward progress, at least. Mm hmm Which is the whole point of the slingshot. Look out below! It's a flyby attack! <laughs> a flyby attack and a parachute cap. Exactly. Can you imagine how humiliating it'd be to die to that? Use the grappling hook to latch onto the chopper hull. I'll drop you off so you can pick up the last memory. There's the SMG. We can't even hit a guy drifting slowly through the air! Uh, the melee kills are kind of useless because the hit detection on the melee attack isn't that great. You have to be really up in their face to connect with it. And it's not even a one-hit kill. It would be if Rico was actually using his fists like a normal person. Come on, Rico, give him some haymakers. Are you kidding? It's a grappling hook. Emphasis on hook. It should rip their faces in half when he hits them with that. <laughs> Well, these guards do seem to be somewhat superhuman, so... Get your guns out and deal with any rooftop 
It's not out of the question. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> but thank God for the auto aim. That's the only way to hit these guys. Ah, uh, this is what we came for. Well, I couldn't have it entirely explosionless. That would just be cruel. Indeed. Oh, she's actually using some discretion now. Maybe we shouldn't fly right over the place with all the Sams. But it's fine for us to walk into the military base unarmed and expect to find guns just lying around. Like a uh, mounted machine gun. Well, mounted machine guns are the best weapon in the game. And does, it really has infinite ammo. <laughs> yep, it has infinite ammo, and you'll notice in the lower right that he's automatically maxed out in skill with it. So what reason do you have not to just slowly run around the island carrying this? Um, it's really slow. You can't jump or grapple. And anytime you interact with an object, you drop the gun. Oh. Like, I can't pick up the weapon ammo here. I can pick up the crate. But yeah, this is the best weapon for destroying buildings, shooting down helicopters, killing enemies. Killing entire armies. Yeah, it's the best everything. <laughs> Great, you found some C4. You can use it to blow up the sand. C4 is also useful, but it's kind of rare. Well, if you say so. See, look how fast it destroyed the G. <laughs> that was what, two seconds? A second and a half? Of sustained fire? <laughs> all the cars are made of explodium. Well, all the guards pack flaming Hot Cheetos for their lunch. <laughs> See, look, this is a heavy armored vehicle that would take four or five grenades to blow up. Hey, Kane, I'm um, having trouble keeping everybody back with my giant mounted machine gun. See, yeah, that about does it for the enemies, so now it's just waiting for the chopper. This is getting ridiculous, Kane. No, Rico, it really isn't. Well, I, well it's I guess... ridiculous, but in a good way. Yes! <laughs> exactly. And that guy's body's ragdolling hard over there. Go, go, go! Get out of there now! <laughs> Look how far they fly when you hit them with bullets from the that, mountain machine that gun. That looks so cruel. <laughs> but we successfully grappled onto the statue and things start exploding on their own for some reason. And we got chaos! Yep. And that's the end of the mission. So that wasn't too bad of a first mission. Lots of explosions. You got to carry a giant mountain machine gun. Yeah. Of course, it's a lot harder if you don't realize you can take the mountain machine like gun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you think we blew our cover? You got the memory cards, so I guess we're still one step ahead. And where does that step take us? The agency's last contact here on Penal, Carl Blaine. What's his story? A Swedish ex-charity worker, now a professional gambler and alcoholic. Are we trust a guy like that? No, but we've got no choice. Blaine knows more about this island than anyone. Now kick back for a while, enjoy the ride.